Just a very basic question about when you first encountered this story, and I, I remember talking about it years ago. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. It's, uh, it's the, 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 the project came to me uh, through uh, Charles uh, Gilibert, who, was, uh, who knew, uh, who was the, who's the, produ who's the producer of the film, with yeah. uh, Rodrigo. Mm -hmm. uh, he, Rodrigo had this project for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, it's something he had developed. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and he passed it on to me. Mm -hmm. uh, Charles passed it on to me. I read it and I just loved the material. Except mm -hmm. uh, it felt extremely complex, yes. extremely difficult. I thought it was you know I, I thought there was a story somewhere inside uh, the of, of these events because it's a book that basically describes uh, the uh, underground. Uh, conflict that has been ongoing yeah. between Cuba and the U.S. during the last uh, half century. Yeah. Um, so uh, it's uh, it's. Uh, um, uh, 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 I had been looking for a while uh, for something that could reunite me with. Edgar, mm -hmm. uh, we wanted to work together again after Carlos, yeah. do, do, uh, but we didn't want to do Carlos Bis, which was kind of offered us quite a few times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, uh, 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 and, and, and I also I wanted, af after making a, a few more intimate movies, I wanted to try again to make a movie that tried to articulate the human and the historical, the meaning to deal with the complexity of the world, but seen through the eyes of human individuals mm -hmm. lost in the chaos uh, of the politics of their time. Yeah. And I, 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 I thought all that was there in this in these projects mm -hmm. and, and, and I became really fascinated by the story and I, I, and, and, and I more or less did a job very similar to what I did on Carlos, mm -hmm. meaning researched it, checked it, rechecked it yeah. and, uh, Synthesizing. Um, and, yeah. uh, and, and, and and came up with a screenplay that is uh, more about uh, not so much uh, you know it's my work on movies like like uh, 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 Carlos or this one uh, was network. I consider it more like finding scenes rather than writing scenes. Meaning, mm -hmm. I find something that actually happened mm -hmm. that has some sort of solid reality, as absurd as it may seem, mm -hmm. and I write a scene based on fact. So, so it's you know, so uh, I, and uh, um, I, I think there there was uh, the potential for a great diversity in the way of describing the world, of describing the conflicts of the uh, of the post of the post Cold War in this film. So it's yeah. So that's I suppose what well, that's one of the many reasons that attracted me to the project. Yeah, and for Penelope and Edgar, I just want to ask you about. Uh, how were you able to meet with your real life counterparts and how closely you stuck to you know your experiences with them and how much you diverged from them uh, I didn't meet her but I didn't I didn't try yes. because I talked to Olivia about this and in other characters that I have played that are people that we all know and that are alive mm -hmm. and that we know the way they talk, the way they move. Like, for example, Donatella Versace. I needed to talk to her before, right. first of all, to get her blessing. Yeah. And in a, uh, for, for this character, we decided to, to, with all the information that we wanted was there, mm -hmm. everything was treated with a lot of respect, mm -hmm. which I always care about when mm -hmm. you're playing somebody real. I mean, I don't have to agree with her. I don't have to think like her. Right. Um, but everything was done with respect and from a base of like a lot of information about these characters, we built our own interpretation of them. Yes. Um, in terms of character and personality and like what's behind making all of those decisions. And so I, I actually didn't even see a lot of, there were some videos of her on, on internet. I just saw a couple of references and then we wanted to create our own version like because what was important is the, the story that we were telling, not so much like trying to um, to to capture like the essence of how that person was, but what is behind that psychology and behind those decisions. Yes, Edgar. Um, yeah, I mean, pre uh, uh, pretty much the 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 same. We, uh, I think that uh, basically in the end, it's not about. 
it's not about making making a photocopy of those characters. It's more about a painting, mm -hmm. and uh, th I mean that 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 I think it's the it's the is the approach, especially for characters as um, Penelope described, are not of public knowledge. Like people yes. don't know really how they how they how, how how they used to talk, how they behaved. So we had more of a latitude to yes. to to invest or like to like to insufflate them with whatever um, uh, uh, with whatever um, uh, impact they had on us and mm -hmm. also and also somehow it was a you know we were in Cuba these these, mm -hmm. these people are very you know they're very influential there you know we were the island is very small <laughs> and uh, and we were very close to them so in a way we wanted to keep as much freedom as possible yes. creative freedom and mm -hmm. not I think that to establish that commitment to the characters was not was not necessary in this case, mm -hmm. as Penelope described with Donatella, who's alive and around, and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and of course, it was possible for that interaction to happen. In my case, of course not, because Johnny's not around. Yeah. I would have tried had he been around. Yes. Uh, but in this case, it was an, it was an, and, and also Olivier, Olivier wrote in the same way that happened with Carlos. You know, he wrote, very interesting characters. He did that research for us, mm -hmm. so we kind of like open up to the 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 you know the characters that he had written. Yeah. Can, can, can I just add that <laughs> to 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 give the full the full picture is that Rene and Olga Gonzalez were not so happy we were making this film. Also. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Well, actually, that brings up a question I'd like to ask you, Rodrigo, about the enormous complexity of putting this project together and some of the legal questions that must have popped up. <laughs> Actually, the legal questions was not a problem in the beginning. It yeah. became a problem after. I oh. know something happened in Cuba, but never left the island because they come to try sue us, but never, nothing happened after because the, the, the Cuban producers um, finished with that before we know. Mm -hmm. Uh, actually, the, the the government, the Cuban government, give us the all the access to do the film. It was difficult. Sometimes change. Olivier faced a lot of difficulties in the beginning, mm -hmm. but during the process, they they left the space to we, to to we work there and mm -hmm. make everything we could do there. And uh, I don't I don't remember a film who show Cuba like Cuba is. And I think uh, Olivier portrayed this really well, uh, actually a film from outside of Cuba, not a Cuban film. Mm -hmm. uh, but we don't saw a lot of problems. We probably have spies spying on us on, during yeah. the process. Oh, this this yeah. is true. Sure. And yes. uh, we still in the Cold War there. It's mm -hmm. like we are living in the 90s, not, the, yeah. not in the 21st century. Mm -hmm. uh, we try to don't talk too much in front of the people, to don't see uh, what's gonna happen, what, what they're gonna learn, or okay, these guys are talking about this or that and coming back to us. Yeah. But it was not a real problem. It's the, the, in the legal way, it was not a real problem. And also the writer, the, the, the one who inspired us the, to do the story, the, the book author, he was a good friend of Fidel Castro and Raul Castro. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's the second book he wrote about Cuba. The first one he wrote in the 70s mm -hmm. called The Island. And uh, Fidel always respected him and given his all access to, to work in Cuba. Yep. Take questions. Yep. One, here's a, yep. I represent the Cuban Five. I'll speak to Olga and Renee tonight and tell them about the film. I think the film is wonderful. Mm. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very you. much. Thank it's you. Great. <laughs> Next. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We were told before the screening that this is a new cut of it. That's the world premiere of a different cut of the film. What's changed from the first version of the film? Uh, what changed? It's a, a, a lot of tiny things. A lot of tiny things. It's, it's, it's at some point uh, because we wanted to be so ac you know because we were, we were f we w when when I, when I was editing I was just obsessed with being as fair as possible to give the facts to be as 
precise as possible with the facts. And so at, so at some point I realized when we presented the film that we were kind of overloading the audience with dates, places, facts, whatever, and, uh, and, uh, and that it was detrimental to the film in a certain way. And, on, and also uh, the thing is that we had, you know, we finished shooting the film in May and we had kind of committed uh, to, 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 to Rodrigo to be, to, to, to be done by the time of, of, um, uh, um, of, of Venice. So there's, there, there was a little bit of fine tuning that really the film need, need, needed. And, uh, 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 and of course, this is much closer to the, to, to the cut I would have um, uh, finalized if I had had the time to... to uh, no, we, we, we got rid uh, of a lot of tiny details and, and given, a, 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 I think, a more fluidity and a better sense of continuity. But, but, and, and the film ends up being three minutes longer than the version we screened uh, uh, previously. On. There we go. Um, I wanted to ask for the actors about the Cuban accents, if you did any preparation for that. And for Asayas, did you do any research into uh, some of the sayings and just linguistics difference in the Spanish on the island? Into the accents? So, yeah, yeah, we had a lot of preparation because I, I love doing accents, but I think this one this is one of the most um, it's one of my favorite accents, but it's also not easy. So I, I had a great teacher that uh, Pavel Giro. He's also a director, and he helped me a lot. And we were doing classes every day at home for months, and um, trying to to get the accent to a point where we could also improvise in the accent, so that. You don't feel, you know, trapped that all you can do is say the dialogue and then in that moment if, if he would have changed something that we could not improvise. No. I feel like uh, I'm very grateful that I found Pavel to do that work and, and we got to a point where, where I felt comfortable and, and, and it was an advantage to have the accent because it's part of, you know, a, a specific um, feeling, rhythm, a specific personality and... I um, I love doing this accent, and I hope I can I can do it more times in my career because I love it. Yeah, well, I think that that, that Penelope did a great job at Cuban accent. And you too, my friend. Thank you, <laughs> but but, my, but mine's closer because I'm from Venezuela, so so the Caribbean is a is a nation, and uh, in all Cuba, Puerto Rico, Venezuela, Northern Colombia, Panama, Dominican Republic, we pretty much share the same beat, you know, and, uh, and like once, one sentence is just one word. You know, we connect everything for the Spanish speakers here, you know what I mean? Um, especially here in New York, actually, that's the Spanish that is spoken here. Um, so, so I think that she, she did an amazing job, and, and it was fun. I mean, for me, it was, it, was, it was real fun. We had great help, you know, Pavel with Penelope, Armando Suarez, who's a great writer and poet who was my 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 dialect coach for this movie and he we had worked together on Che many years ago so it was a it was it was beautiful and um and and of course i mean the the accent when you work on an accent somehow you're creating the character right there you know because you're 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 already creating that distance from yourself and um and, and yeah it, it was fun to do it and and um and yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a really fun accent to speak in. Yeah, yeah and, and, and from, 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 from my perspective, of course, you know, I, I was extremely concerned because when I cast the film and I was, I'm just so privileged and so happy uh, to, to have this great cast in this film, but none of them are <laughs> from the same country. They all have different accents in Spanish, and I was extremely, extremely concerned uh, to, 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 for the film to be believable uh, uh, in, in terms of the uh, Cuban accents and of, 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 of those characters. But, uh, you know, but obviously, it means also that on the set, uh, we, we had coaches with headphones for all the scenes, and sometimes when, we were there, when there were like three or four actors there were three or four coaches with uh, with headphones hanging around on the set uh, so I, 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 I think we ended up getting 
it right and we worked on it in post production and uh, uh, and I, 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 I was extremely impressed by the job uh, all of them did and 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 uh, um, Penelope was uh, particularly passionate about it and until the last minute she had me change stuff and you know she had me change lines words Passion here and passionate there. is yeah. a good way to put it <laughs> <laughs> And the only one who was really Cuban, Ana de Armas, was the yeah. only one who played she an American. She spoke she only played, English. She played mostly in English. Yeah, I know. No, but no, but uh, but but be, beside that, uh, I must say that I was really amazed by the Cuban actors. You know, because because because, because, because the main cast is not Cuban except Anna, uh, except Anna. All the others are Cuban actors, and I was just so happy with the great people we 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 we, we had uh, we, we 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 worked with. You have some beautiful scenes with the baby. Was it difficult to get so many kisses? <laughs> <laughs> Something happened with that baby. Actually, we were lucky with all the kids in the movie, right, Olivier? We were yeah, very lucky. Yes. Very but you, you, but you've, you've, done, you've done pretty well. I mean, you, you're pretty good with babies. Well, I love them. So <laughs> once they get to the set, they're mine. So yeah. I think I'm like, I'm going to be your mommy for a while. And <laughs> the beginning, they are like, it's just too intense. But then, you know, we became very friendly. And with that baby that was so young, she was like a little over a year. Mm. And something yeah. magical happened with her because from the first day, the day that I shot the end of the movie, the scene when she's, mama, mama, kissing me, is the day I met her. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So in the morning, I was lucky that I had a couple of hours before yes. we did our stuff together, Absolutely. and I was just playing with her, and something happened with that baby. It's like she knew, she, and she didn't speak, she didn't understand like every word, but she understood the game, and she knew that the game was, you're playing my mom, you're leaving, when you leave, I get sad. And in every take, I was leaving and saying, Mama, Mama, you're the best actress in the world. No, no. And then when we shot with Edgar, he mm. was also no, the no, first the, time he saw you and yeah. he was the first kissing she saw, him. She saw me through the window and I mean through the glass. And we were all very moved and very impressed yeah. with that. And of course, that helped the whole thing. Because yeah. can you imagine? I mean, no, that but was the thing is, it's also sorry, yeah. sorry to. And the real father was crying because he was there, yeah. and uh, <laughs> and we were. It was kind of like the end of the movie, and we were in a real. We were in a real jail. That was in, yes, in Spain, yes, in yes. a real. S but yes, yeah. because we had not planned to bring the, because we shot the the last scene first, which we shot it not in Miami but in Cuba, uh, and 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 the baby was so extraordinary that we that we decided that we needed yeah. her yeah. for the scenes in we shot in because the jail scenes we shot in Gran Canaria. Yeah. So so it was a big decision to to bring that baby and add her. To, 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 to the scene, uh, but, but I was just, I, I thought there was something so amazing happening between the baby and, uh, and Penelope, I thought that was really worth the trouble, and yeah. believe me, it was trouble to bring the baby to, uh, to Gran Canaria, and uh, uh, what sh uh, should I, yeah, and also, the, but the, the, the other part of the story is, is, you know, we were, so we were shooting in a real jail, right? So you, you only have two angles, you know, you have, Behind, you have one one angle facing uh, Penelope and one angle facing Edgar, and and the problem is that between the two takes, the baby fell asleep, <laughs> <laughs> and and she was like so, so so all of a sudden we could not match, the the, the so, so so we had we had to have guys from our set de from our from our from, from our uh, set department to build. Uh, a set similar to the to, to the parlor in the jail, in some in, in some other location, so that we could uh, shoot the reverse shot of that of that scene with the baby uh, uh, not sleeping. So so it 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 it, it, I, it made me very scared. I mean, the whole process made me extremely scared. Uh, but I, I was <laughs> I, 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 we, we all loved the baby. <laughs> it was kisses, 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 mm -hmm. and then suddenly she fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. was yeah. it. Like and it was finished. We it was, was finished. Yeah. There was no, yeah. It's too bad we don't have her for the press conference. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's really a shame. Okay. So the, the changes that, um, that you made to the film are, are quite recent. You, you yeah. just recently came yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's, uh, you yeah. know, it was finished uh, a few days ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this will be, this is a first time for 
everybody, and as it was said before during one of the earlier questions, it's a world premiere of this work, and we're so pleased to have it here and to have all you guys here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.